Hi everyone and welcome along to Sonic Academy's Tech Tips with me, Chris Agnelli. In this one I am going to show you how to create that uh, big trancy reverse reverb clap. Uh, the sort of clap you hear in a lot of the more sort of banging end of uh, trance kind of John O'Callaghan or Sean Task type stuff. Where you hear the clap and then a few milliseconds later you get this, you know, this reverse reverb as we would call it. Uh, we're going to use a plugin called Enverb. So... Guys, I've just put in a very basic loop. The top is from uh, our Greg Downey loop pack, uh, which is available on the site, and the kick is from our soon-to-be-released uh, kick synthesizer. So, I'm going to create a, a new instrument, and I'm going to select Grimy 909. And we have a clap here, kind of basic clap that doesn't do loads. It's kind of 8080, or sorry, 909 hence the name Grammy 909. And we'll stick in. And this time we'll attempt to put it in the right spot. So it's kind of a lame clap, it's a bit sort of, it's a bit dead, so let's go to uh, Reverb and select a thing called Enverb. Now I'm uh, inserting this because we do have a mix control, it's fine to insert it, we don't have to just bust it. What is Enverb? Enverb is an envelope reverb. It's a reverb that we can apply uh, tag, decay and release and sustain and hold to. Uh, so it's kind of interesting, gives you some interesting results. Let's flick through some presets. So this is kind of the result we're looking for, this fast reverse reverb where there's, you know, gated drums. So we'll show you how to program it. So let's just go to uh, default. And we want a very fast attack. We don't want a slow attack. We want a very fast attack. Uh, no decay. It's a sustain and hold that we want to look at. So, this is what we're looking for. Full sustain and a bit of hold. So, it's back to that gated uh, drum sound that you would get with some reverbs. Uh, but we're going to put a, put a bit of pre-delay on it. Cause we, and we want to try and time this pre-delay. So, if I go to... We have a delay BPM calculator. So, at 134... At eighth notes, we have a delay time in milliseconds of two to three milliseconds. So let's go back to Logic Pro and let's put the hold in for two, three, three, or as close as we can get it. So now that's rhythmical. And again, we can go back to the delay calculator and we can go to 16th notes and recalculate. And it's 111. So let's. Have a pre delay of 111. We could probably double that to maybe again to the 2, uh, 3, 2. And there you go, you can feel it's rhythmical. Let's hear it in context with the track. So you get that, that's that reverse sort of reverb. Let's uh, stick on the compressor over that. And something, you know, that's uh, like a sort of softy drum comp. That's not a softy drum comp. Uh, just like that. And we have a mix then. We can mix it. And yeah, let's try and use our soft side chain. Platinum. Uh, and let's bust things over to see if we can start to get that sort of pumping effect. So let's send this to bus 11. Switch off the output of bus 11. Send it over. And... Again, let's, let's 
side chain this bus 11 and let's mix a bit less because we're, we're kind of losing the main the main clap There you go. That's that's uh, using a little plugin. Probably sometimes gets overlooked. Uh, M verb to create a really nice uh, reverse reverb. It's great over other loops and stuff. Go to the the gated drum and play about with time. And go to that BPM calculator, time it, and get your mix going. So uh, that's how you create that big sort of trancey reverse reverb clap. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.